Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Miami Hurricanes scheduled to hold a massive recruiting weekend this Saturday as they take on Georgia Tech. And this is kind of reminds me similar vibes of a couple weeks ago when they had a ton of top targets for the Texas A&M game. They have a massive win against Texas A&M. A couple weeks later, a couple days later in some cases, you start landing some of those commitments. This weekend, I think, has a very similar vibe. And a lot of times we kind of talked about this for Miami on the recruiting trail. This is a program that a lot of top recruits are interested in. What do they want to see? Miami play winning football in 2023. We're certainly seeing that. So if you're a Miami fan, yeah, sitting at the 17th best class in 2024, towards the end of this cycle, decommitment season coming on, I could see Miami really making some moves, not only flip commitments, but landing some uncommitted targets as well. Excited to get into some of the top targets that will be on campus. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. The support you guys have shown the boys, especially the Miami fans, truly does mean a lot. Y'all know I love talking about this program. It's largely because of the support you guys have shown. So if you do enjoy the content and you enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, can't thank you guys enough for rocking with the boys. And let's get into this. And I first want to start with who will be on campus who's already committed to Miami. Going back to kind of something we talked about, all of a sudden your top commits suddenly become the biggest recruiters. And why I want to start there is you're having your two top commits in this 2024 class. They will be in attendance for this. JoJo Trader, Zaquan Patterson, both from Shamada Madonna Prep. I wanted to start with that because our top target that is on campus for this weekend is going to be five-star wide receiver, Jeremiah Smith. And this has been a really interesting recruitment for Jeremiah Smith. I, I could talk at length about the prospect Jeremiah Smith is. You guys see the national rating, the best prospect in this 2024 class, committed to Ohio State. It always seemed to be Florida was the biggest threat to land the flip commitment from Jeremiah Smith. Miami in the last couple of weeks and maybe even months, has been making a lot of traction with Jeremiah Smith, and it was always kind of a head-scratcher that they weren't in on it. It seems like Miami is much more in on this recruitment than we saw a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago, and I wanted to start with it because it, it, I'm sure many of you guys know he's teammates with both JoJo Trader and Zaquan Patterson, the two top commits in this Miami class. You suddenly have that teammate connection. You're is the hometown kid. Like You start feeling a little bit good, better, about Jeremiah Smith, and especially because you look at this offense under Shannon Dawson, this is suddenly an offense that if you're Jeremiah Smith, one, you can play early at Miami. Can you play early at Ohio State? Probably not. In 2023, they landed three five-star wide receivers. I think the biggest recruiting pitch for Miami is you're a guy that can come in and make an immediate impact. You're already seeing multiple true freshmen start and play meaningful snaps for the Hurricanes this year. Jeremiah Smith would be that next guy, especially in a wide receiver room that you got multiple wide receivers, Colby Young, Xavier Restrepo, Jacoby George, who are putting up big numbers. That offense all of a sudden becomes really, really appealing to a guy like Jeremiah Smith that 12 months ago under Josh Gaddis, it simply wasn't. A, Jeremiah Smith, by far the biggest target heading on campus for the Hurricanes. Now, another one, and this is a one that, I think we could see a commitment route relatively soon. Four-star wide receiver Nykar from the state of Georgia was committed to Georgia for a while. Decommits from the Bulldogs about two weeks ago, takes a visit to Auburn. You're starting to see a lot of buzz for Nykar in the Miami Hurricanes. And you talk about Miami and what we talked about, grabbing those playmaking wide receivers, a position group that just seemed to be kind of lacking for the Hurricanes the last couple of years. That's not the case this year, and you look at the chamber. Having guys like JoJo Trader already committed, potentially landing Nykar, would be absolutely massive when you look at the playmakers that are going to be around and playing for this Miami offense. Now, Nykar, to give you a little synopsis of his game, not necessarily the, the craziest traits, right? 5'11", 170 pounds, runs track, pretty fast player. You see that on the film. But most importantly, this dude's just good at football. Like you take a look at what he's doing as a senior. Already through five games, 34 catches, 589 yards, nine touchdowns. This is a guy that just makes it happen on Friday nights. And at some point, you just got to say, this is a good football player. This is a playmaking kind of guy. 
We want him in this program. I don't really care what the traits around him are. He's a phenomenal player that would add a lot of playmaking ability to this Hurricanes offense. And again, I would not be surprised if Miami takes care of business in front of Nikar against Georgia Tech. You might see a commitment relatively soon. You're already seeing some crystal balls pop for Nikar and the Hurricanes. Next guy I want to talk about and another committed prospect to a different school, four-star linebacker Darius Hayes. Now, we've talked about this. Can, Flor- can, can the Florida Gators hold on to that recruiting class that they signed in 2024 that it is really, really impressive? Really tough loss to Kentucky. They have Vanderbilt at home this week. A Darius Hayes, a very interesting defender, 6'4", 210 pounds. I almost see him as a guy that puts on some weight and almost plays as she has that frame, crazy long arms. But at the very least, what you're getting is a really productive linebacker who's made a lot of tackles at the high school level and just a traitsy dude, right? 6'4", 210. Yes, he has to put on some weight to play in that front seven. But man, does he fly around the football field find footballs, and make plays. Really good blitzer as well. What I see with the Darius Hayes is just a, a, a chess piece in a defense where he's going to get on campus. Hey, what what weight do we want to play at? What position do we want to play at? Whatever position you choose, I think Darius Hayes is going to be a massive playmaker for the Hurricanes. Last guy I want to talk about, we're going to go to the 2025 class, which is already off to a really good start for the Hurricanes. We're going back to the wide receiver position and another guy who's already committed to a different school. Dallas Wilson committed to the Oregon Ducks from Tampa, Florida. And you ask me, I mean, he committed really, really early on in the process to Oregon, has taken visits to Colorado, Florida. If you're asking me from an outside perspective, does this commitment look solid to Oregon? Certainly not. Dallas Wilson, another massive flip candidate in that 2025 class for the Miami Hurricanes as they continue to just kind of bolster up these classes and stack really good classes again, Mario Cristobal, one of the most relentless and productive recruiters in the country. Part of Miami getting back is not just hitting on a really good 2023 class, but it's starting to stack those classes consistently. So really good 2023 class, right? And we're seeing a lot of those guys already make plays for the hurricanes as true freshmen, a 2024 class that, Although might not be up to the standard yet, I think when we're talking about this class in December, certainly will be. And then you're already looking forward to building this 2025 class again. When you want Miami to get back to that standard that you, quote unquote, (coughs) excuse me, being back, it's about stacking multiple classes of talent and kind of reloading that chamber. Mario Cristobal, certainly on his way to doing that. What I want to close out on is, This is a a program that a lot of players want to go on. We've already said this, right? They had a ton of talent on campus in the summer. A lot of prospects want to go to Miami. I think last year going five and seven, that's a tough sell, right? These guys want to go to winning programs. If Miami can show that they're a winning program and they're going in the right direction and they have the young pieces to be competing at a national championship caliber in the future, that's, I think, what's going to really pique their guys' interest again. You have Mario Cristobal surrounded by, I think he's done a great job getting guys like Kevin Beard and Jason Taylor, young coaches who are really good on the recruiting trail. They're going to be able to create the connections. I don't know why you wouldn't want to live and play for Miami in terms of the weather and kind of the the vibe of that campus. And then you combine that with this program is back. We're back to winning and playing that national championship caliber football. If you're a Hurricanes fan, I think you're really excited about the future, the talent that's being acquired. And I'm certainly keeping an eye on some of these names that will be on campus for Miami against Georgia Tech this weekend. Really excited for this one. Again, appreciate the Miami fans checking the boys out. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later.